Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about how to solve AES shift rows. Explain with example. Topic of network security. Let's check the outline of this video. First topic is introduction of AES. And the second topic is AES shift rows. Explain with example. Before start this video, subscribe my channel. And follow my blog, chiragvalodia.com. All the video materials are available in my blog. Let's start with the first topic, introduction of AES. AES stands for Advanced Encryption Standard. This algorithm uses input as a 128 bits of plain text. And another input is encryption key, which is in different size. AES consists of a multiple rounds of processing. Different key bits like 128 bits key perform 10 rounds of encryption. 192 bits key performs 12 rounds of encryption. And 256 bits key perform 14 rounds of encryption. So it means in AES encryption algorithm, the plain text size is fixed. It is 128 bits, but uses different size of encryption keys. This diagram shows the overall structure of AES encryption process. In AES encryption process, each round consists of the following four steps. The first one is substitution bytes. The second one is shift rows. The third one is mix columns. And the fourth one is add round key. Let's assume that I am discussing about the 128 bits key uses in AES encryption. So it means it performs 10 rounds of encryption. So substitution bytes perform 10 rounds, shift rows perform 10 rounds, and the mix column performs 9 rounds because mix column is not present in the last round. And add round key is performed 10 rounds. So here above 4 steps are called as AES transformation function. In this video, I am going to discuss about AES shift rows. Explain with example. Second transformation function of AES is called as shift rows. It is also known as a forward shift row transformation. Shift rows transformation function perform on the state array. Here state array is the output of substitute bytes. Let's discuss the rules of shifting rows. In state array, row 1 is no shifting. So row 1 is as it is. Row 2 performs one byte circular left shift. So let's check here. Next, row 3 performs 2 byte circular left shift. So let's check here. Next, row 4 performs 3 byte circular left shift. So let's check here. So these are the rules of shift row transformation function. Now let's take one example to understand the AES shift rows. So this is my state array. So this state array is the output of substitute bytes. Let's perform AES shift rows on this state array. As per the rules, row 1 is no shift. So it means the row 1 is as it is. Next, row 2 performs 1 byte circular left shift. So here, let's start with the right hand side value 90. So 90 is move to the 1 byte left shift. Then next value is 4C. Again, it performs the 1 byte left shift. And then next value is 6E. It again perform the 1 byte left shift. And the last value EC is move to the last position of the row because here we are performing 1 byte circular left shift. Next, row 3 performs 2 byte circular left shift. So here start with the right hand side value E7. So here E7 is moved to the 2 byte left shift and placed at the second position of row. Then next value is 46. Again 46 is performed 2 byte left shift and placed at the first position of the row. Then next value is C3. Here C3 is performed 2 byte circular left shift and placed at the last position of the row. Same way the last value 4A is performed 2 byte circular left shift and placed at the second last position of the row. Next row 4 performs 3 byte circular left shift. So here start with the right hand side value A6. Here value A6 is performs 3 byte left shift and placed at first position of the row. Then next value is 95. 95 performs 3 byte circular left shift and placed at the last position of the row. Then next value is D8. Value D8 is performs 3 byte circular left shift and placed at the third position of row. Then last value is 8C. Same way 8C is performs 3 byte circular left shift and placed at the second position of row. So this is all about AES shift rows function. If you have any query, you can join my telegram group Chirag Balodia. Link is given in description. 
follow my blog chiragbalodia.com all the video materials are available in my blog if you like this video please hit the like button and share with others don't forget to subscribe my channel follow me on social media all the links are given in description thank you for watching this video